if your second generation Xiaomi TV Box 4K is not responding to your voice command and Google Assistant or voice search is not working, then let me show you some easy to follow troubleshooting that will help you fix Google Assistant issues with your Mi TV Box. What's the distance of Voyager 1 from Earth? According to Wikipedia, at a distance of 163 astronomical units from Earth as of January 2024, We will start by ensuring that nothing is blocking your Mi Remote's microphone hole. Clean it if needed, and you also need to keep in mind that you need to press and hold the voice assistant button while you speak. Sometimes it may take some time to load up, so you can try holding it until it gives you suggestions and then start speaking. If it's still not working, remains blank or shuts down, then next we will check our internet connection. You can try opening YouTube and browse some videos. If you see it's taking long time to load, then first troubleshoot your internet and Google Assistant should also start working. If internet wasn't the issue, then next we'll check the Google Apps permissions. For that, you need to open settings, open apps, select see all apps, and from the list, search for Google. If you don't see it here, tap on show system apps, and you should find Google here. So we will select it, and from here you can go to permissions, now we will go to microphone, if it's disabled, we need to set it to allow. After that, Google Assistant should start working right away. What's the weather in New York? If microphone was allowed but Google is still not working, then right from here you can go ahead and clear its data. This should refresh your Google app and voice assistant should start working. You can also go one step further and uninstall its updates. After which, if you press the Google Assistant button, you'll be able to set it up again from scratch. And after the setup is complete, Google Assistant should start working. After the reset up of Google Assistant, if you're still facing some issues, then you can try updating the app again. For that, we need to go to Google Play Store first. Just go to Apps and search for Google Play Store and it will open. Then go all the way to the right to your profile and from here go to Updates. Then update the Google app. After going through all these steps, hopefully your Google Voice Assistant has started working. Unfortunately, for some reason, if it still won't work, then let's check if the microphone itself is damaged. You can easily do that by trying to voice search on the YouTube app. Highlight the microphone button and try searching something. In your case, if it doesn't pick up your voice, then it's a microphone issue and your remote needs to be replaced or repaired. And that's all for this video. Hope this helped. Make sure to leave your feedback down below and I'll see you around.